Hello and welcome to your graduation ceremony. We've had to get used to virtual gatherings since spring of this year, but this is not just any gathering. This is your graduation, a very special day. Of course, we would rather be in the Whitla Hall together in person, but on behalf of all the staff here in the School of Social Sciences, Education and Social Work, I offer you my warmest congratulations. Graduations are always a very special time in the Queen's calendar. Winter graduations have a very different feel from summer graduations, both equally significant. But there was always something very special about coming in from the cold into the warmth of the, of the Whitla Hall and holding graduation with the backdrop of Christmas lights and the wonderful aroma of mulled wine and mince pies wafting in from the marquee. Unfortunately, restrictions mean that we can't do that together this year. But let's not focus on what we're missing. Today is still a day for celebration and warmest applause, albeit virtually. COVID-19 has meant that we won't have the opportunity to celebrate together, but it has not changed a single thing about what is at the very core of this, your graduation day, formally marking your achievement and success and expressing our shared pride in all that you've done to get to this milestone and special moment in your lives. Many words have been used to describe the times we've been in since March. Unprecedented, strange, challenging, difficult, the list goes on. For society, it has been difficult, and no less for you as you've endeavoured to navigate your final year of university life or postgraduate studies in these COVID days. Each year, we feel a real sense of pride in our graduates, and this year is no different. And if anything, our sense of pride is deeper and more poignant. I want to thank you for how you've faced these last number of months, as we've had to move our teaching online, have social contact reduced, face-to-face -face teaching paused, many activities halted, a buzzing campus hushed, and your student experience ending in a markedly different manner to how it began. You've been determined, resolute, and remained positive throughout, pushing through adversity and finishing well. There's an old Arabic proverb which says, sunshine all the time makes a desert. It alludes to difficult and dark times often being a time of growth, cultivating personal depth and perseverance. We in the School of Social Sciences, Education and Social Work have seen that in so many of you. Lord of the Rings fans may be familiar with Gandalf's famous line, all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Today, you're graduating from Queen's University Belfast. As a university, we have collectively risen to the challenge of these times. We've been leading new research projects to address COVID-19 supporting local, national and international efforts to expand our knowledge of the pandemic and using this enhanced intelligence to develop solutions that will benefit society both locally and globally. Our commitment to widening participation hasn't wavered and we've been involved in some superb projects, including getting a thousand books to young children in care during lockdown. Innovation, resilience and the belief that we can all make a difference has underpinned our response to these days and you've been a part of that. Graduates of 2020, the circumstances in which you find yourselves graduating may be very different, but more importantly, what remains the same is your fantastic achievement in obtaining your degree. What also remains the same is the enormous pride which I know your family and friends will feel about your accomplishment. I just want to add my personal congratulations and wish you every success in the future. I just want to extend my congratulations to you all. You've done extremely well in what has been very difficult circumstances. And I wish you every success in the future. Many congratulations to all of you who are graduating today. It is a really fantastic achievement, especially given the circumstances we've all been living and working under over the last number of months. I want to send a special message to Oshin Martin, who's graduating today with a doctorate in childhood studies. Uh, Oshin, it has been an absolute pleasure working with you over the last number of years. Uh, well done on your achievements, you really deserve it uh, and I hope you celebrate uh, appropriately this evening uh, after your graduation. Oshin, you will be forever known to me now as Doc Martin and my final piece of advice to you 
friend is. Go easy on the adjectives. Best wishes. Many congratulations to all our students who graduate today. Perhaps this is not quite the graduation party that you thought you would have when you first came to Queen's University and enrolled in your respective courses. But then again, who could have told at the start of 2020 that this was going to be the year that we will have. So we are particularly proud that you all managed to get through all these difficulties and challenges and hard times and arrived at this point now with a degree certificate or a master certificate or in fact a PhD certificate in your hands. So well done, congratulations and we are really proud of you and proud to have been part of this journey for a little bit. So I'm really looking forward to hearing from all of you and about your successful careers. Uh, I'm sure I will read some of your names in the newspapers in years down the line. And uh, again, I wish you all the best. Good luck. And uh, if you need any support, any guidance, we will continue to be here for you. So well done, all the best and good luck. Very many congratulations to everyone who is graduating today. Very, very well done. It's so very well deserved and I know how hard that everyone works. Special mention to my two doctoral colleagues, Dr. Udi Samanhudi and Dr. Dervla McDonnell. Your determination, your innovation and your passion for educational research is a true testament to what we do here. So enjoy your day and make good memories. Very, very well done and congratulations. Of course 2020 has been a challenging year like no other, so I think it's important for me to, to particularly commend everyone's tenacity, their resilience, uh, their ability to achieve academic excellence in the most trying of times and I think this graduation is a particular celebration of that. Uh, the winter graduation of course it's online, it's virtual this year but I think it is still a time for celebration. Also as part of your journey this is not the end, this is just the beginning of uh, your future career so please stay in touch, keep in touch with us, let us know how you're getting on. We're always delighted to hear how our graduates uh, step out into the world uh, and, uh, and and see those achievements flourish so um, very little else to say except enjoy your day enjoy the graduation enjoy the fest and break it is thoroughly deserved and i look forward to hopefully seeing many of you in the future congratulations everybody we have been so proud to have had you as our students here at queen's university and from the center for behavior analysis we could particularly congratulate our students from the masters in applied behavior analysis and also the masters in autism spectrum disorders it's been wonderful to have you as our students in the center uh, we wish you all the very best for the future and i know that many of you are going into very demanding jobs and maybe some of you will come back and do your phd with us someday that would be wonderful so all the very best enjoy your day and keep celebrating Huge congratulations to everybody who's graduating today. 2020 has been a very difficult year and that makes your achievements even more outstanding. And while this mightn't be the graduation day that you had planned, I hope that you can celebrate anyway. And I wish you all very good wishes for the future. Congratulations to everyone who is graduating today. What an incredible achievement, very well done. And to Dr. Erin Early in particular, what a pleasure it was to be your supervisor. Laura and I thoroughly enjoyed being on the journey with you and we're very proud. We are so full of expectation as to what you're going to achieve next. Congratulations, Erin. I do want to congratulate you. I want to congratulate you for all the hard work and all the commitment and all the time and effort you've put in uh, to bring yourself to this moment today, this moment of graduation. Graduation is a recognition of all that hard work. It's uh, a time for celebration and it's a time uh, where you should feel rightly proud of yourself and all that you have done. I want to give a particular shout out to all our doctoral students who are graduating today. Doing a, a doctoral dissertation is an incredibly long and hard um, piece of work. But what it is is a rite of passage and if you get through that rite of passage successfully then you have the right to call yourself a doctor and there are very few people in the world who can do that. So you sh should feel particularly proud, proud of your achievement uh, that's been celebrated today. 
and I hope all of you here graduate and don't mind if I make a particular shout out to Carla. I was fortunate enough to be Carla's supervisor during the course of her dissertation and I remember the very many meetings we held over the course of time and seeing the work develop and seeing Carla's expertise uh, uh, in the, the topic that she was studying uh, develop over time. Um, and she was magnificent in, in her viva and she has produced a magnificent piece of work which she's going to put to good use back in her own country. I hope Carla you're watching today, you're participating in the ceremony and I hope you're bursting with pride because you have absolutely every reason to. So congratulations everyone and let me finish off by giving you a big hand again. All the best. Today represents the end of a long journey for me here at Queen's and I am thrilled to be through my doctoral study. My research, Missing Voices, the Educational Experiences of Girls with Autism, represents over 20 years experience of autism and education. And I wanted to do something meaningful with this knowledge for the autistic girls I have worked with over the years. Queen's has a staggering and prestigious research reputation, and I couldn't wait to do my doctorate here. And the opportunity to study part-time meant I could continue my teaching career alongside my doctorate. I'm sure all students say that their supervisor was their biggest influence during their research. And mine is Dr. Brona Byrne. She championed everything I wanted to do. She made speeches at the different exhibitions of Missing Voices and she pushed me in every way to ensure my research had lasting impact. Finally, my message for my fellow students is university education and especially doctoral study is a privilege that not everyone gets for many different reasons. Having this opportunity means having the chance to create something very special. If you seize this opportunity and pour your heart and soul into your research work, you have the potential to leave a legacy that will inevitably benefit those who cannot access these educational opportunities. So when you are at Queen's, you have to make it count. My research focuses on examining similarities and differences of research articles published in two different contexts of publication in Indonesian local and international journals in the fields of applied linguistic. My two supervisors, Dr. Eisen O'Boyle and Professor Tess Magnus, have been my very real support during my doctoral journey in this university. They really helped me a lot during the process of writing my dissertation, during the process of research that I conducted uh, for my dissertation project. And now I feel that all the knowledge and the skills, especially the research skills that I gained from my doctoral degree program at Queen's have been very useful here when I come back to Indonesia, to my university. Now I'm conducting a project on language education in Batam province and all those knowledges and skills of races that I gained from doctoral degree program at Queen's have been very, very useful and is really important to support my career in general here as a lecturer. Thank you very much. Hi folks, Jade Dave. I want to send you all a big heartfelt co-gorgeous and congratulations from the Students' Union on finishing your studies. You should all be so proud of this achievement. I know for many of you, this might not be the celebration that you had expected, but wherever you are and however you're celebrating, know that you deserve it. This is a time to reflect on your experiences while at Queen's the things you've learned, the clubs and societies you joined, and the friends you've made during your time here. And I hope more than anything that your time at Queen's has helped you work towards the future that you've always imagined. And I wish you all the best as you move on, knowing that you will change and lead our society for the better. Thank you. As Pro Vice-Chancellor for the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, I am delighted on behalf of your school and the faculty to congratulate you on your outstanding achievements and welcome you as a graduate from Queen's University Belfast. 
I very much hope that you are taking time to enjoy these distance celebrations with your family and your friends. The last few months of your degree programme were not quite what we had anticipated. However, I hope that in the years ahead, we will look back and reflect on how the pandemic has changed us, how we have developed coping strategies, and how we have learned to be adaptable to a changing environment. As a professor of innovation, I have seen how individuals and organisations that have the capacity to anticipate or identify changing circumstances and also have the capability to modify their activities or behaviours are the ones that ultimately succeed. We also know that the organisations that build relationships with others to share technology and knowledge perform better than those who remain isolated. Certainly, throughout this pandemic, we have seen very clearly how we operate within a system where the parts are interrelated. As we seek to manage COVID-19 and identify a vaccine, we see how science must go hand in hand with technology and society, whether in terms of government and politics or the economy. Equally, we've seen how we as individuals are interdependent, how the actions of one of us can impact on many others. Today is a more a positive example of that, and I know that you are with many others who take pride and joy in your achievements. Every one of your lecturers are extremely proud of what you have achieved. Graduation is an exciting time. It's a milestone in life's journey. And for many of you, you will now close the chapter of university life. But for others, you will continue to pursue higher qualifications. And indeed, a very special congratulations to you today, those of you who are graduating with doctorate degrees. Whether you return to university for formal education or not, your achievements today are another step on the journey of lifelong learning. I hope that the future brings new and exciting opportunities for you, that you will embrace the opportunities that come your way, push yourself out of your comfort zone and continue to learn and to develop as individuals. Let me offer two small pieces of advice, if I may. First of all, don't think just about your CV, but also about your character and how you will now use the knowledge that you have acquired. David Brooks, in his book, The Road to Character, distinguishes between resume virtues and eulogy virtues. In your resume, or what we more commonly refer to as your CV, the focus is on your achievements, such as the qualifications you have been awarded today, the skills you've acquired and the career successes that you've had to date. But alongside these CV virtues are your eulogy virtues. In other words, what people will say about you typically at the end of your life. And here the emphasis is on the impact that you have had on others and by doing so have enriched your own life. Through your education at Queen's, you now have a strong resume. With that goes a responsibility to be a global citizen to make a difference to the world around us in a way that makes the world a better place. The second piece of advice is to not be afraid to feel and make mistakes. We would never learn if we didn't. Michael Jordan, recognised as the greatest basketball player of all time, once said in an interview, I have missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I have lost almost 300 games. On 25 occasions, I've been entrusted to take the game-winning shot and I missed. I have failed over and over and over again in my life and that is why I succeed. There will be bumps in the road. You will stumble and fall, but you will pick yourself up, dust yourself off and you will succeed. As the famous Canadian singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen said, there is a crack in everything. That is how the light gets in. Today, you join the family of Queen's alumni around the world, and alumni who have not been afraid to keep trying when the going was tough, and an alumni who are renowned for making a difference. You join an esteemed list of outstanding scholars, Nobel laureates, and leaders of the global society, 
people like poet, playwright, and Nobel Prize winner Seamus Heaney, whose words are known and loved across the world. Professor Frank Pantridge, inventor of the portable defibrillator, a piece of medical equipment that saves thousands of lives every day. And Mary McAleese, the first female Pro Vice Chancellor at the University and former President of Ireland. I think you will agree, you are in very good company. But now it's your turn. You are the future leaders who have some of the most needed expertise on our planet today. But with that, you have responsibility to use your knowledge and skills for the greater good. Believe in yourself and always remember that no matter where you are in the world, you can be proud of the fact that you are a graduate of Queen's University, Belfast. Congratulations, well done, and most importantly, now, go and make a difference. Today is a special occasion as you celebrate the conclusion of your studies. On behalf of Queen's University, I would like to congratulate you all in reaching this very significant milestone. I know that you have all worked extremely hard to reach this point and you should be proud, very proud. You're graduating in a year that has seen unprecedented change across the world. But you're also graduating in a special year for our university as we celebrate our 175th anniversary. Since 1845, our world-leading researchers, pioneering students and inspirational alumni have made a real difference to society here in Northern Ireland and indeed across the world. You now join that talented and high-achieving Academy of Queen's alumni who continue to shape the world in which we live. As a graduate, you'll always be part of the Queen's community. It's a community that I am immensely proud of not least because of how our students and staff have responded to the challenges of 2020. Our staff and students have adapted rapidly to new ways of working and learning, and our researchers have been playing their part in global efforts to understand, to treat, to manage the COVID-19 pandemic. It's also a community that will play a key role in our society and our economy as we recover from this pandemic. And as Queen's graduates, you'll be at the very heart of that recovery. I wish you continued success and look forward to hearing about your many achievements in the years ahead. Congratulations again on reaching this incredible milestone and I do hope you've enjoyed the virtual graduation and have the ability to celebrate with your family and friends. Hello everyone. As Chancellor of Queen's University, it is my honor to congratulate our winter 2020 graduates. And because yes, it takes a village, congratulations as well to your family, friends, and the entire Queen's community. This year marks 175 years of Queen's. And I wish I could be in Belfast to celebrate this milestone and congratulate you in person. But as you know, nothing is more important than doing our part to stop the spread of this virus. And I'm so grateful to everyone at Queen's for your commitment to doing just that. I know this is not how any of us pictured your last year at Queen's, but that does not make this occasion or any of your achievements any less significant. In fact, I would argue the circumstances in which you have completed your studies make your achievements even more remarkable You've shown incredible resilience, flexibility, and determination in the face of unprecedented circumstances. When I was a little girl, my mother Dorothy taught me that life isn't about what happens to you. It's about what you do with what happens to you. So class of 2020, you will be remembered for graduating during a pandemic, but you will also be remembered for the ways you responded to this crisis with creativity and compassion. You're graduating in a challenging moment to be sure, but no one is better equipped to meet this moment than you, a generation of critical thinkers, problem solvers, and entrepreneurs. 
And it fills me with hope to know how prepared each of you is to chart your own path forward and to help build a better future for all of us. Class of 2020, everyone at Queens is very proud of you. And we cannot wait to see how you will make your mark on the world. So congratulations again. And I wish you every success in what I know will be a brighter future. Your final year is not how any of us would have imagined. It will be a year none of us will forget very quickly. But let it be a year which won't simply be defined by COVID-19's unwelcome arrival. It's the year of your graduation and a year when you have nurtured resilience. Poets and writers have often drawn upon the seasons to talk about life. Here we are in the bleak midwinter, in the midst of a global pandemic. But we know from experience that winter fades and spring comes. There is much to celebrate, much to be hopeful about, much to look forward to. And now let's focus on the good and what is happening. This event may be virtual, yes, but it's no less real. You have reached a milestone and realized a major achievement. I and all my colleagues here in the School of Social Sciences, Education and Social Work warmly and most sincerely congratulate you on your graduation. I leave you with a montage of photos from your time here at Queen's. Enjoy the celebrations.